Welcome back to, I think, part seven of my Silent Hill playthrough. Uh, we arrived here at this amusement park. I can't remember what it's called. Um, at the end of the last video, so just leaving where we left off. I can't quite remember which direction I need to go. I don't need to go there. There is one of those sloth looking things. Um, yeah, fun fact this is my second time recording this part because I was finishing uh, recording until I saw it was never actually recording. So yeah, I am redoing this right now. But it's okay. I like this game, so I don't mind too much. Anyway. We're here at the carousel. And we have stumbled upon Sybil. And she appears to be a little out of it. But in the last video, when we were in the sewers, or when we were just entering the second part of the sewers, she's shooting at us. Uh, it looked like something had attacked her or something. So, yeah, something happened to her. Where did she go? I think if you run too far away from her, she like spawns behind you. Or you get these weird, yeah, parts where the carousel starts moving and she hops on. Yeah. She got me. She got me. Get up, Harry. Okay, so there's a couple things. Oh, there she is so uncomfortable. There's a couple things you can do here. You can either choose to shoot her and kill her or you remember this liquid the this liquid we collected from the hospital? Um, we can try to use it on her. And see if anything happens, perhaps. Uh. And there's the culprit. Sybil, it out. wake up, snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. Good dad. I 
I figured you'd show. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. Cheryl, give me back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Dahlia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa, this is the end of your little game. She be. You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. Face twitch is so creepy. <laughs> Harry. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement, even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms, but nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling, like I'd been there before, like something happened there, but I can't quite remember somehow. Was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Okay. 
Okay, so a lot happened there. Um, so we saved Sybil with the liquid we collected from the hospital. And in turn, we got that dialogue with her when it was showing the carousel and Harry was talking to Sybil about um, how Cheryl is not his biological daughter and all of that, which we wouldn't have been able to hear that if we had just killed her. See, this is where I uh, saved when I wasn't recording. Um, just going to overwrite that. What else? Um, okay, and then we use the Floros on Alessa, as Dahlia asked us to, and then they ignored us. They ignored Harry. Look at this camera angle. That's so cool. It's like, I don't know. It's not first person, but almost. Lisa saved us again. I'm being summoned. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. Looks like we are back in what looks like the hospital. There's a bird cage. But there's a key in it now. Hey, Emma. Okay, I've got my gun equipped. I'm just gonna change my weapon to the hammer. Okay. Don't have a map. There's a key jammed in there. So, two keys that we need to figure out how to obtain. Oh. Kind of missed that. That was my fault. <laughs> um. There was a little girl that just walked through this door here. <laughs> I believe. Sorry. And now we are in the antique room. My controller's vibrating. I need to heal. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, this is the the room in the antique shop, but there's no hole in the wall. But outside of this room, it looks like the hospital, so a little bizarre. But got health items, save, and this clock that was also in the antique shop. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite the last save. And we will continue to explore. Ah! Nice surprise. Let's 
That's right. <gasps> the nurses with the blue are weaker than the nurses wearing green. If I remember right. It seems like that. This looks like the hospital basement. And now we are in a classroom. So, if you're catching on, we're not really at the hospital. This is, oh, on the desk it says go home. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not really in the hospital. This is like, a weird mishmash of all or some of the places we've been to already okay um pliers and a screwdriver i think that's all in here So, I think we can get some of the keys with those tools. Alright, that's locked. Let's go re-examine the, the pipe. key for one of the doors. No. Can we use the screwdriver here? I can't remember. Or do we need a key here? Yeah, we need a key for that. I'm pretty sure it's not this. But yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd check. And I think it's this door? Yeah. Okay. Locked. Hmm. Right, this is a puzzle room. Okay. If I remember right, this puzzle has to do with legs, I think. I think you just have to put, or is it arms and legs? It's something like that where you have to put, you have to press the number of arms and legs each thing has, so... I think it's arms and legs, not just legs. <laughs> so this one would be six. This one would be four. And this one is eight, I think. Yes. I kind of fast tracked this puzzle, but if anybody watches this, um, you look at these pictures and it gives you the number 10 and like a picture here of this crab. He's got eight legs and the two claws, so that makes ten. 
and uh, you know, no arms or legs, so zero. And uh, two, yeah. So based on those, you're supposed to kind of figure that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky bastard. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Names engraved on a lithograph? Is that what it says? A Grim Reaper's List. Yes, the head count is set. Young and old lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Okay. Uh, camera, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me make sure I check all the doors. I don't have a map, so I just gotta go off memory. So I'm pretty sure I came out of this door, so. All right, um. Yeah. So this is another puzzle. Uh, again, I'm just gonna kind of fast track it. Um. Basically based off of the last thing I read, you're supposed to put the names in order based on age, which is the number to the left, obviously. And if you do that, you get Albert, Lydia, Edward, Roberta, and Trevor. And then you come over here and you put in the letters of every first letter of each name. So then you get A, L, E, R, and T. And there you go. No one's here? This is my favorite coming up without spoiling anything. Okay. I'm gonna go away for this next part because I love it. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry.
one so much. It's so good. Let me go back in. She's not here. But this, this song, it's so, like, sad sounding, kind of somber. This is, uh, <laughs> I can't read this. Um, give me a sec. I'm gonna pull it up so I can read the note. I don't know if that's just me, but I just heard a really weird sound in the song that I don't recognize that caught me off guard. Anyway, I pulled up the diary here, what it says. This is, again, this is uh, Lisa's diary. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit, won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing comes out, vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug, help me. So, yeah. There's that. I love this song though. It's kind of uh, bittersweet. Let me check all the items. That's right, we grabbed this uh, thing we need to stick in that clock. Touching moment. And the music stops. Okay. Um, antique room? Yeah. Okay. So. Now I need to stick this in. save again and I think I'm gonna end this part here because we only, we only have a little bit of the game left so I'm gonna call it and there will be one more part and then we'll be done so stay tuned for the last part if you're watching this I guess <laughs>